We have 4,000 homeless people in our city. And that population is only going to increase as our city continues to grow. Hi, my name is Tanisha Wheaton. I'm from Fort Worth. I'm 31 years old. I've always wanted a life of, I say, prosperity and um, marriage, love, children, you know, family, things of that nature. But I have my children early. I have four children. Um, I end up um, being homeless, pregnant with my baby. I don't want them to have to ever struggle or go through any homelessness again. And I just want them to, you know, be healthy and strong, you know. I myself am not eligible for any type of medical insurance, and I didn't, I hadn't taken my children because we had been homeless um, to see a doctor in such a very long time. Um, getting child, I mean, um, medical insurance for my children was definitely a, a, a concern of mine because I didn't know if they were going to be able to, if I was going to be able to find somebody that would. Um, take me or uh, all the kids. Cook Children's has been given a, an amazing new opportunity to get involved in this homeless initiative this is an opportunity to provide health care for some of the most vulnerable children in our community. We were very interested to see what we could do, and as it turned out, our expertise in health care was the greatest unmet need that those children in the shelters had. Cook Children's is launching on what we call now our promise, and our promise is really very simple. Uh, knowing that every child's life is sacred, and by the way, that includes homeless children, that's every child, it is the promise of Cook Children's to improve the health of every child through the treatment of, uh, of disease, illness, and injury. And so this fits exactly in with our promise to our community. When we say every child, we mean every child. My name is Jennifer and I've been at the Arlington Life Shelter for one week and two days. After about two or three days being here, you set up with a case manager with Cook Medical and they do your doctor's appointment, dentist, uh, find out any medical concerns or anything else that they can assist the family with. Uh, a lot of these folks don't have transportation, so we have uh, a van that was donated by the Women's Board here at Cook Children's. And uh, so we use that van to transport these families, uh, their ch the children, to our neighborhood clinics. Because we have the opportunity to provide case management services to these families, these families are experiencing advocates for their children and advocates for the parents to help them understand how to negotiate a complicated and sometimes intimidating health care system. When these children and families move out of the shelters, they're going to have their own medical home already in place. We do the range of services that we do for every child that walks through our door. So we can do well child exams, we do vaccinations, we take care of acute illnesses, and uh, we provide education with our education specialists. My name is Christina and I've lived here at Union Gospel Mission for about, a, about two months. It's very difficult and very fearful to be homeless with two children. Um, I worry about, you know, you never know what's going to happen day to day, you know. Um, I worry about how I'm going to feed them, how I'm going to give them clothing, how I'm going to give them a roof to live. It's very fearful. Cook Children's has, has stepped up to the plate and said, these individuals are not going to be the next generation of homeless because of their health care not being provided. That's something we want to do and we will do.